Hello Aries, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, shuffle here. All right. Messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, what is the overall energy, please? The Two of Cups. How is somebody feeling? The Seven of Cups. Eight of Swords. What is in the Hidden? The High Priestess. And what is the potential outcome? The Eight of Coins. Under the deck is the King of Wands. So, of course, that could be you. That could be someone who is spying on you and holding on or holding back. They may not want to see that things aren't working out between the two of you. It could be Scorpio, but I'm going to take these three. Let's see, let's see that. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. Okay, first thing I'm feeling is this is that energy of that card that says I bury myself in, in work to forget about you, to forget about the situation. I feel like you're dealing with someone who may have a lot of options, but I feel like you are the only one really on their mind, the Eight of Swords. They really haven't moved forward. The energy overall is the Two of Cups. So that says a lot to me. I'm actually going to pull some Oracle cards first for this, for this one because I can already see what's going on here. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I wonder if you're happy without me. And I can't stop thinking about you. Yeah. Someone thinks that you two will be together again. Now I'm seeing this clearly. This is someone who has other people they could date, other things they could be doing, but they think about you, they dream about you, and the two of you being together. They may focus on the on work or school or working out or something like that. Anything to keep their mind off the situation. Things look good on paper, meaning like, you know, they, it looks good on the outside, Instagram or whatever, it looks good, but on the inside, that's not really what's going on with this person. I feel a sense of sadness right now off of them. A card just flew out to the side, the Seven of Swords. A look what's under the deck. <laughs> now, if he's in reverse, I don't know how he came out. This would be truth coming out. Upright, it's, it's someone is lying to themselves and they're not telling the truth, they're not revealing how they truly feel. So... Give me the king is O. Oh. So it could be any sign, but they're being rather cold. Or this is their energy. So I am going to shuffle these though again. I'm going to start. Over. What is the two of cups? Knight of wands, the seven of cups, and the three of coins. Did I say the knight of wands? I meant the knight of coins. Excuse me. This person again has options. They could date other people. They could be doing other things. Um... And that's why I said the three of coins. It can be to me a card of someone posting things online. On They're showing off. They look good. They're kind of like, look at me. Everything's great. But I don't get that it is. Also, I'm getting right now, if someone is looking at pictures of the two of you together. The, seven, the knight of coins can be someone who's looking at the past to me. They're not really going anywhere. I'm getting, I'm seeing someone sitting at their desk right now. They're looking at a computer. They're looking at their phone. They're scrolling through pictures. Of the two of you they're having some I guess they're having like a nostalgic moment but oh about the past yeah okay what is the seven of cups energy what is the seven of cups I mean, this feels like it represents the two of you and what was what what could have been but is over now and now it's kind of like the sense of what do i do next with the seven of cups but it can also be the sense of the two of you are done and they can move on or you can move on to something else something else um, secure but I, again i'm getting they don't want to it's like they want to change or they did change something ended and then they can move forward to a new relationship that's long term but secretly i get they don't want to I don't get that. I see that. They don't really want to. Eight of Swords. They are actually stuck. What is Eight of Swords? Nine of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the High Priestess. But they're afraid to come back around. They're afraid to move on, but they're afraid to come back. That's what I'm seeing here. Because I'm getting someone who feels lonely. Someone who does feel very lonely. And feels like they have no one to understand how they're feeling or no one to talk to. So I'm kind of picking up right now. What is the High Priestess energy? Ten of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and the Four of Swords. Wow. So they may feel like they lost something that was good, something that could have been long-term with the Ten of Cups. What is the Eight of Coins and the outcome? Two of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Moon. 
Okay, I'm just going to say this because this is kind of the energy I'm feeling off this person because they're kind of in a, a rough spot right now. I feel like this person is very emotional and doesn't really know what to do next. I feel like this person is kind of, in a sense, lost. I feel like this person is going from day to day and kind of just going through the motions but not really sure what they're supposed to do next. I feel like this person thinks about you, the two of you, and what you guys had and what you guys you know, could have had if they had stayed with you or worked this out or done something. I get this person's emotional and I get this person also doesn't know what's next with the moon energy. But let me see what's showing up in this deck. Okay. I'm in love with you and all your little things. I love it when you call me baby. So I don't know if they called you baby or you used to call this person baby. One more, please. You drive me wild and I love it. Okay. So I just get a lot of nostalgia on their part, a lot of remembering. I found the one my soul loves. Yeah. Okay, let me see what your um, guidance from this deck is with this person. And then I might extend this, but let me, let me see here first. What is going on here? Finances. Okay, so maybe there is a financial issue. It says financial challenges are affecting this connection. So I have seen the five of coins, the four of coins. We, we have this person working. Maybe they, they are having so many issues you don't know about. Um, goodness, okay. Anything else you need to know at this time from this deck? What else do you need to know at this time? We have play hard. So this is about having fun. It says find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other or just on your own. Okay, so let me go. Let me go to this deck and see what the advice is at this point in the reading. What is the advice? Eight of Cups, the Sun, okay. The Six of Wands, the Two of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the page of wands okay eight of wands okay so this reading is giving you advice it's telling you to walk away and just go have fun do your thing be happy you know doing whatever with work or friends or school this person is coming to a realization of the love they have for you that's why the two of cups is the overall energy they're seeing how compatible you guys are they're also realizing that this is a past life soul connection now they may not call that call it that they may not even have those you know that concept in their mind they're realizing there is this very very strong connection here you're no longer there for them to talk to. Maybe you're dating other people. You know, maybe you're the one with the options. Maybe you're the one doing, you know, um, uh, doing other things, staying busy, working. But this person's in a very deep emotional place. Now, they could be going through a dark night of the soul right now. It doesn't look that bad. I mean, for, this is like Nine of Swords. I feel like they're more worried about reaching out to you than anything. I feel like this person could be going through maybe a dark night of the soul. They're, they're remembering the past now. Um, they're reminiscing and I get there will be communication with the page of wands here but I think I will extend this one because the eight of wands was also under the deck but I want to go into a little bit further about what they're thinking or feeling and what else is happening here with this person you know if the finance if the finances really are an issue so I like to see what they're thinking about you and how they're feeling their next move how that move will make you feel well where, where this is headed three months out and then a little further out, the main problem in this relationship and any other advice uh, from the universe. So I'm going to put the link below, you guys. Have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon.